Gladden Stanley Thermos. Stanley, the top all steel thermos bottle that's completely defendable and built to take a bounding year after year. Get the top because a thermos bottle means more to you than a picnic. It's some kind of top thermos bottle. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Everyday Kelly. My name is Kelly. So what is it with this whole Stanley Tumblr craze? I have to admit, I'm really late to the party on this one, uh, but it's just because I don't watch a lot of news uh, and nothing even popped up for me on my YouTube recommendations uh, regarding this topic. So I really had no idea about what was going on out there uh, with these Stanley tumblers. And apparently it's been a couple of years, um, but it's just kind of been gaining more traction lately. So let's have a little bit of a talk about that. Uh, and then I have an unboxing for you uh, because I bought one. Uh, I bought one, uh, I didn't even, when I bought it, I didn't even know about this whole craze, to be honest. Um, I only found out about it after. Uh, and so I just was actually just looking for, uh, something that was good quality, a, a new tumbler that was good quality to take to work with me. Uh, and then I saw these. And I found one that I thought looked nice, and so I purchased it. And then I found out about everything that's been going on, about people going absolutely out of their minds to get uh, certain Stanley tumblers. Um, so I, I've just been sitting there for actually a couple of weeks, and because I'm trying to decide, I was trying to decide of whether I wanted to keep it or not. Um, but we're gonna keep it. We're gonna unbox it. We're gonna have a look at it. Um, but first, let's just kind of have a look at uh, kind of the company and what's been going on and why this uh, particular cup has been such a craze lately. So if you're not familiar with the Stanley Company, uh, they are a company that's been around for like 100 years, and they always have made these like vacuum sealed um, tumblers, and their target market was mainly working men. Uh, and now like that I've thought about it, I actually remember seeing a lot of these um, these thermoses around that say Stanley on them uh, when I was growing up. And I remember them coming in lunch boxes as well. They used to have lunch boxes where the thermos would fit in the lid of the lunch box. Uh, and like I said, the target market I think at that time was just like working people. And then I think what happened was, I think I read around 2017, there was a woman who featured it on her mommy blog. And then Stanley started coming out with like cool colors. And then that's when people kind of started catching on with it. And, and it became really popular at that point. And if you Google some of the stats of what happened with how popular this cup has become, uh, it's pretty remarkable. So in a little bit of my research, I noticed that it started with um, like the adult women, uh, so like the moms, and then it kind of trickled down to uh, like the 20 somethings, uh, young adult uh, crowd. And then now what's happened is that it's actually now trickled all the way down to preteens. And I was reading an article that said that once a fad trickles down to uh, that like preteen market, it's kind of going, it's like on its way out at that point um, because the older set, especially teenagers and young adults, don't want to buy the same things that uh, preteens have. Um, but it has been pretty crazy. Some of the videos, you can Google them. Some of the videos I've seen of people just going insane. I know also that there are a lot of people who just want to buy them, not only to collect them, um, but, uh, they're trying to get the special limited edition ones so that they can resell them for higher prices. Um, but that's always been a thing. At first, when I heard about this, I was a little critical about it. But then when you really think about it, I don't think it's any different than 
some of the other uh, kind of fads and crazes that have gone along over, you know, the last 20, 30 years. Um, like when Uggs became really popular, it was like that brand. You had to have that brand. There are a lot of brands out there that look like Uggs um, that are the same type of thing and they're good quality, but it's, you have to have the Ugg brand to be kind of in that club. And I think that's what this is a part of. It's, you know, there are a lot of tumblers and a lot of thermoses out there that are good quality. So it's not just about the quality. I'm sure the quality is good, uh, but I don't think it's just about the quality. I think it's, you know, when some, when a name brand becomes you know, the, the fashionable thing, you have to have that brand to be on the in crowd. Luckily, I don't really care about that. Like I said, I just bought it because I was looking for something that was good quality to take to work with me. Um, so I think it's cute. Uh, so let's unbox it and have a look to see what it looks like. So here it is here. Uh, so I did buy this one from Amazon. Um, I'm not concerned about it being counterfeit. Uh, you can kind of tell sometimes when you're buying things on Amazon, like where it's coming from. I have seen some counterfeit ones on there. Not really concerned with this one. Uh, so this did, this is the shipping box that it came in. Full disclosure, I did open it just to make sure that it was actually what I ordered. Um, so it came in this box. Um, and then it actually came really nicely wrapped, like the actual Stanley box came wrapped uh, with a nice tissue paper. Um, so it was really nicely wrapped. I couldn't get the tissue paper back on, but that's fine. Um, but I have not had a look inside the Stanley box um, to actually see what the cup looks like. So here it is. Uh, so this is the Stanley box. Um, so this one is the 40 ounce. Uh, so it's called the Quencher H2O Flow State Tumbler. I know that they have uh, different products that they sell in different sizes, uh, but this one is the 40 ounce. Um, so on the back, you can see it's got all of the details, lifetime warranty, all of that jazz, um, all of the different uh, features, double wall vacuum insulation, reusable straw, dishwasher safe, all of that stuff, um, how long it's supposed to keep it hot and cold. Um, so let's open it up. Uh, I'm really excited to see what it looks like. Inside of the box is pretty beautiful. It's got that gold, um, gold color with the Stanley name and logo on the top. Um, let's get rid of some of this packaging here. So even this is nicely wrapped as well. Um, so the one that I got, and I'll show you what it is in a second. Um, I can kind of see it through the paper a little bit, so I'm getting excited. So this one, oh, you can see it there. Uh, so this one is part of their deco collection and I just thought it looked really cool. So let's open it up. So this one is in a blush color. It also comes in a blue and it comes in a, uh, a cream color, but I really loved this blush color. Um, and now that I see it in person, uh, it's perfect for me. If you've been watching my channel for any time at all, I think you know that I really have an affinity for anything that's pink. Um, I have far too many pink things, um, but anything pink, I'm on board with. Uh, so I really love this. It does seem, it does seem kind of ridiculously large, I will say. Um, but it's just so pretty with that gold detail around it. Uh, very, it looks very art deco. Um, one thing that I really like about it is um, the handle does seem to be quite comfortable. And I do love uh, the design of it 
uh, how it has this part on the bottom of it so that you can bring it and put it in your car. That's one thing that I've been forgetting to do lately. I always used to bring water with me when I went in the car. Um, and lately in the past couple of years, I've been forgetting to do that. So I'm hoping that this will help with that. Uh, because it can easily sit in the car uh, because of the way that it's designed. I took the straw out. It is supposed to have that multi-way um, top part where you can change this into different positions. I don't really know how to do it. I'll have to spend some time and play with it to see um, how that works. Uh, but I'm really excited to, to start using this. Oh, so it does have the instructions on the inside. Um, I'll have to go through the instructions to see how the multi-way lid works. Um, I've never had a cup that has a stainless steel on the inside. I've always been concerned that whatever you put in there is going to wind up tasting like metal. So, and I'm sure if that was something that was a common thing for these, that would have come out by now. Um, but I'm really excited to use it. I'm not really interested in participating in any of the fads totally 100% honesty. I'm not interested in that. Um, but I just, I bought it because I thought it was really pretty looking. If you have a comment that you would like to make, uh, regarding the Stanley tumblers and all of the craze surrounding it, you know, please leave it in the comments. So let's kind of get a discussion going. If you've got one, uh, and you have either a positive or neg negative experience with it, let me know that as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more videos that are similar to this, don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you very soon in my next video.